All right, look, you ready? You ready for this? Hang on. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean this way. Ooh, that's right. Hello, now, everybody. Welcome to my playthrough of uh, Metroid Dread. We we are here. Um, we're gonna be playing Metroid Dread. I'm super excited. Look, if you haven't played Metroid before, just sit back, relax. It'll it'll make sense. I, I'm sure they have some sort of intro cutscene to be like, "Whoa, careful! Make sure you know the Metroid lore is important." But really, even if you don't, you could just get by with just enjoying the gameplay. Oh, baby. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to play this for a long time. When was the last Metroid? The last Metroid game that could, that, that actually uh, did something for the story? There was Zero Mission, which I think altered a little bit of the, the origin. Uh, or, or, sorry, the original story when you do that Zero Suit Samus escape sequence. And there's Metroid Fusion, which was like the last part, the last, the, the, the final part that we had for the lore. Adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do that. That looks fine. Um, I don't know what that was. My controller was going straight up. I hope that I don't have any Joy-Con drift. If not, I'm going to just have to replace to, to get a different... I, I have a bunch of controllers. It's fine. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Here we go. Oh. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises. And as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Dude, that's what you think. There's the X-Parasite right here. Can you believe that? X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X-Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Oh, look at this. Look at this gorgeous art. Oh, that's one of the little leaper things. Is this the... the, the yeah, this is the first cutscene in Metroid Fusion. Where Samus is fighting that little thing in, on SR388. Oh, man. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. That's true. This is Metroid Fusion. Oh, look at the, look at the little sprite. Look at the little sprite. Ooh. And then here's the, here's the fusion suit. The fusion ship. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me... Uniquely able to oppose the X. The ability was tested immediately when I went to the Biologic Space Laboratories, BSL, research station to investigate a distress signal. There's Metrifusion. We'll play through this Metrifusion. There's Nightmare. There's the... Ooh! There's the SAX. Crazy. We got a good look at the SAX there. They are battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me and my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it's all, just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Look at that. They found more X parasites. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. <clears throat> Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. God, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful view of space. It was called ZDR or ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of 7ME to investigate. <clears throat> Here's the Emmy. Ooh, look at that little scary little little 
What, what do you call it? What do you call the little things that mosquito use? Proboscis? <laughs> and Emmy is a large research robot that designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival, their arrival in ZDR, all communication was lost. Bro, Sam is looking sick. I love this more organic look to the power suit. With the with the muscle, what is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. So Samus does still have Metri DNA. I thought she didn't have Metri DNA in her anymore. How interesting. I might scoot over just a little bit like that. Got a little bit of a loading screen here. Some interesting runes on the bottom. <clears throat> I don't know what they're supposed to say. Is this Trozo language? Never investigated their runes or anything. Oh man, did we get a good look at the fusion suit? The fusion sh I want to see. I want to see the fusion ship. It would make sense that she. Yeah, she has the fusion ship. So that's Adam, right? I'm assuming that's Adam. <clears throat> yeah. That's Adam. Here we are. Oh man, I'm excited. So, I've played pretty much every Metroid game. I never played Federation. Oh my god. I'm just chilling on the ground. Looking blue as hell. Bro, you're gonna scuff up the arm cannon. What are you doing? There's that weird, like, Chozo statue thing. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal <clears throat> quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains secure. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, you can remain in contact. Any objections, please? No objections. So this is where I... Ah, I see. So this is this is what happened. What happened to me? Or to her, I guess. Ooh, look at her neck. Got like the, the four little plates there. Here's the Chozo Warrior looking guy. I haven't watched all of the, the, the logs, by the way, so I don't know what's going on. I mean that that just looks like a Chozo wearing a power suit, right? Holy shit. Oh, shit. It's not working, Samus. I don't know how to tell you this. So I assume some sort of attack here is how she loses all her equipment. Oh, that seems to have hurt. Oh, no. Oh, she's woke? Come on, it looks good. It looks good. But it does unfortunately mean that you've lost your various suit, which was your only protection against the cold. But so Samus is part Metroid, so I assume she's still immune to... To, or not immune, vulnerable to cold. How do you jump? Okay. 
Ooh, the jump. Okay. Free aim? How do you free aim? Those are missiles. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's like it's like Samus Returns. Okay. I just tried to wave dash. <laughs> Can't move with the D-pad. Oh, but you can manipulate the mini-map a little bit with the uh, with the D-pad. D-pad right does that. Alright. Oops. It's going to take a little bit to get used to this. So you can't kill this. You just push it around. Oh, but you can kill it. I think you have to hit the front. Well, tilting... Wait. Press... Oh, I see. Press ZL. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, it's going to take me a little bit. Can you wall jump? Can you wall jump? The ultimate question. I must figure out if you can wall jump. Maybe these walls just aren't... Ow. Maybe these walls just aren't... Uh, aren't made for it. Oh, yeah. You can't... No, no. No more fall. No more fall. There's like a scary little grub thing over here. Oh, this is an infinite spawner. Can't go through there. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what I have. I, I think I know what I must do. Watch this. All right. Here's this. This is an, an ammo refill. Okay. Missile station. Need the morph ball for that. So we start with missiles, which is neat. Um, try shooting at your surroundings. Okay. It's pretty pretty basic Metroid stuff. Oh, looks like he gets a, a little bit of super armor when you're when you're sliding. Is this how we're gonna interact with or communicate with uh, Adam? Duel is now online, by the way. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Huh. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a close The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Sorry, when Adam's talking, I want to give him the floor, you know? I don't want to talk all over him, as I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm so glad she still has the Metroid DNA. There are many such cold areas scattered Is that retconned? Do not enter them with your basic power suit. Th like, th was she supposed to lose her Metroid DNA? Final thing. When she got the various suit back in the end of Fusion? Radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. I thought that was... Ooh, look at that stance. What's up, Samus? Shit. Jimmy's business. All right, here, we, we got a good wall here. Any wall jumps? Maybe wall jumping. Oh! There is wall jumping. Oh, it's easy. You just you, you just jump when you hit the wall. But it's like fusion wall jumping where you go like six years away from the wall whenever you whenever you wall jump. That's fine. Hey, any wall jumping is better than no wall jumping, I guess. Um, here's the map. Ammo recharge. There's that. Which I can open, I don't think. You can place markers. You can do that. Zoom in, zoom out. Everything looks good. Uh, there's the options here. Okay. So you can't really you can't really rebind anything, but it's not really a problem on the switch because you just rebind what the buttons do. 
through the system settings themselves. Oh no. I'm gonna wanna discover every inch of the map now. So Adam just nonchalantly says, Oh god, I gotta reveal that, that last part of the, the map up there. You don't understand. Is it not a surprise that there's Chozo? I understand that. It, I, I think it was common. Oh my god. Okay. Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Okay. So this is, it's just like Samus Returns. You can, you can melee counter in the air. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I didn't think you could see me from there. I kind of want to melee counter in the air, you know what I mean? Just for the style points. Watch this. They call me pro gamer. I'm a pro gamer. I did it. Maybe you don't have to shoot those in the front. Hmm. You can shoot while sliding, of course. Okay, let's see. This thing doesn't seem to attack. It just kind of exists, and you have to exist with it. I gotta say, so far the environments look great. I know there were a lot of people that were that were um were concerned about the how the game looked because people were like, "Oh no, it's all gray and and gross." But I know for a fact that there's other areas of the game that have uh oh. Hello? What just happened? If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. Okay. There's a hidden item somewhere. Is it this up here? It's a missile expansion. Okay. Was not expecting that to happen to the map. Damn, I missed the, the map changing. Oh, put my hand up here. <clears throat> no way to go back. No way to go but forward, actually. Ooh. Oh, this is where you encounter the Emmy, right? First Emmy encounter? There it is. I gotta say, as far as the Emmy go, I mean, they're cool. Their design doesn't really convince me too much. I mean, they're, they're neat. Oh, God. Oh, no. I, I was just trying to... Oh, slide under it. I, I didn't read that because I, I was just... I, I was panicking because the Emmy was, was being creepy. And now I kind of feel bad for it. Even though it's trying to murder me. I wonder if you could go, just go, like, over here. It can't climb. It can't climb. Can I bully it a little bit? Oh! Alright. So... Respect the Emmy is essentially what you're saying. Gotcha. Understood. Can I skip this? Yep. An Emmy's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, make this, making this a desperate maneuver. Okay. Yeah. So that's why people have been saying that they just keep getting game overs in this game. Because apparently... Okay, that, that's probably how you come back after after escaping this way. I assume you come back and you slide down there, and that's how you avoid it. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have been saying they, they get game overs all the time. I guess it has to be from that, right? Unless this game gets insanely difficult. Oh? Isn't this the... Is this the Omega Cannon? Did we get the Omega Cannon? Is that the Omega Cannon? This is red. What is that? 
The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Omega blaster online. Oh. Hold R to charge the Omega blaster. Once charged, press while still holding R to fire. Aim at the core. Okay, hang on. Can I... Okay, okay, I see. So this is like a one-time thing. Maybe? I still have it. Hmm. I wonder how many uses you get. Ooh. Oops. It will take me a little bit to get used to the controls. Oh, shit. Hang on. I couldn't read the tutorial because I was destroying the Emmy. There you go. Easy. There's seven Emmy, right? I don't know why the number seven comes to mind. Are there, are there seven of them? It's dead. I killed it. I no longer have the Omega Cannon. Omega Cannon depleted on offline inverting to ar to okay. So I'm just I'm just back at the normal arm cannon. Can I get another? Nope. Is depleted. I feel like there's something here. Oh man, I miss just shooting everything in Metroid games, and that might sound like a slight towards the game, but I actually do quite quite enjoy that. <laughs> and 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 slowly figuring stuff out. All right, we got the door open there. Movement feels great. Is this a save station? You got some, like, rhino things? What is that? Rhino beetles. Save your progress. Yep, there we go. All right, well, you know what? I think that'll do it for the first episode of Metroid Dread. Thank you guys so much for uh, for watching. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash k0na underscore. I'm also on Twitter. Pretty much check the description, and uh, all the info is there. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.